Hey everyone, kumusta? It's Ligaya and welcome back to a brand new not so very video. The girls are just studying and doing their homeworks along with new friends they made in school. Well, new friends that Liliana made because Lily didn't make one single friend by the time that she was there. Let me introduce you guys to their friends. So this one right here is... what's his name? This one right here is Cooper then lucia then this one right here is alonso and lastly heiju the funny thing is alonso is actually victor fang's son so he is a tourney fang's brother little brother then she's just gonna get them some hawaiian pizza i don't care it tastes good okay she is gonna do that while they start working carefully on their project over here right after they do this homework they're so cute i don't know where lily is but she's gotta hurry because i'm taking so much cute photos like she's gotta be here ah she wanted to eat instead okay <laughs> you know what that's better i don't think she wants anything to do with that project it's also not even her project in the first place and also some people are just not really gifted or like maybe keen to fun of academics and maybe socializing too like she is i don't think she's fun of it especially this guy because he's kind of mean oh he's evil oh as a child you're already evil girl i mean dude <laughs> and we have called them over for yeah it's nine in the evening but it's still so bright outside and yeah they already know that it's so late so they're gonna go no she wanted to sleep right next to her mom for tonight oh no another loose tooth i don't really want to deal with that because you guys remember what happened on the last part she lost her face because of it and also my ui got broken so yeah i don't really want to deal with it and you you have another loose tooth oh my gosh how many loose tooths would you guys have can i just make it go away is there a toggle for it i don't really want to pull it out and i think it's time that we get a washing machine for some reason my laundry shop does not work like the laundry mod that i have does not work so we'll probably need to get some washing machine <laughs> and while her mom is busy she managed to hatch this egg that is so cute and this is also just one of those moments that would really solidify her love for animals it will develop her traits and also make her understand what she wants to do in the future wait this is a fitting because lily's class is going on a field trip to the art museum and she actually loves art leilani though is um yeah she's not really into art she's more of the academics person but they're going on a field trip to the theater so it feels like they are on separate classes which is good i mean they've got to learn to be independent at some point from each other all right time to go to that field trip let's go everyone and i still have not completed this which is like my third errand so i would like to haggle please oh my god <laughs> oh my god i don't even have to create it because it's already available in here <laughs> but i really yeah i think this is fine it was really available on the grocery and this one is actually for you by the way why did you even make me do this when you already have one right there this is why you should always check your inventory girl <laughs> okay kim and is that it like yeah complete you've completed our third one and we had just gotten the midnight treat I really need to use some of the treats that I have in my inventory, so I appreciate the value of a full day's work. The grocery shop doesn't run itself after all. Believe me when I say how much I appreciate the effort you have undertaken to gather the animal byproducts that keep the stall shop stock. All I really did was go to the grocery store, <laughs> which is owned by you, by the way. And Miss Agatha decided to chat with her, so I think we'll indulge her a little bit. I think she's asking about the children, the farm, and you know a certain someone that has decided to come to our lives also because i think the entire town knows by now what happened to them and yeah he's just gonna say he's just here for the children now like it's nothing serious it's 
nothing between us really and i was clearing out some stuff from our inventory and i noticed that we have some frogs three different types of frogs and since we noticed that our daughter do likes animals so maybe we can just give this to her and she actually found this frogs usually by weeding the plants <laughs> And oh my god, their dad's here. And yes, I gave him a makeover. <laughs> that hair just kind of made him look so young. The hair that he had previously just made him look so young. And I think he wants to know how they're liking the treehouse so far. And you know, he's also thinking of what other upgrades can he make with his treehouse. You know, dad things. And she decided to come up herself. Maybe she has some opinion about her hair, girl. That What was that? Did he blow her a kiss? You guys see that too? What the? What is going on? You just got a haircut and suddenly you have upgrades to make. And you, you have snacks to make. And since one of our children has diabetes, I'm gonna have them eat some garden veggies like a dipping platter. And she feels like an absolute idiot for finding him cute. Because she's gotta admit that he looks so fine in this hair. He looks so grown up. Yeah, it's crazy that one hair can change like so much of him. That looks so healthy. It's hidden away, but they can probably get it, I feel like. And while eating, she's just telling her mom like, Oh, hey mom, actually, we're hoping to have a slumber party with some friends here tomorrow. I know it's a school night, but we can just go to school together in the morning. She's never done that before, but she loves her children, so I think she would agree. But we gotta get ready though. And now she thinks about some sleeping beds for them. She might need to buy some. And she's asking Lily that if it's alright. Because she's noticed that her daughter is not really the social kind. And Lily's fine with it. And I see you're already using this one that your dad has just installed. That's cute, but don't get hit by any meteor, okay? And now she'll be saying night-night because she needs to go to bed. Someone also is having high blood sugar. Okay, just inject your insulin then. And though it's a little late, they're just gonna have a chat because he wants to know when they're going to be telling the children that he's the father because they've bonded enough, I feel like. And you guys knew about her skepticism, but... Yeah, I do think that she's starting to open up to him and she's also thinking or she had seen that the children likes him. So I think she's gonna say that, okay, we'll find some time. Maybe after the slumber party we can do it. We can finally introduce you to them as their dad. And he is so happy that he could just give her a hug that she returned. <laughs> I think this relationship is slowly mending too. Wait, someone just texted us. Is it just me or do I feel like you're coming onto me sexually? That's so weird. Who even is this? I was worrying you're never going to realize that. It's just you, pig. I wasn't doing that yet. Anyway, it's just you, pig. What? What text was that? What kind of text was that? Anyway, he also says that if you ever need anything for the slumber party tomorrow, uh, just tell me because I would help you. And she says that I would really appreciate that because I feel like I haven't really like um, hosted a slumber party before. I've never actually been to a slumber party. And he's saying that, oh, I've actually been to a couple of slumber parties before. My older sister that I have, that I had, uh, she used to host one. So I do know a few things about it. So I can help you. And that's really perfect because she has no idea what to do. So, we'll just see you tomorrow then? By like 9 maybe? Daddy's not sure. She's saying goodbye to him so cutely. <laughs> and another loose tooth. Girl, at this rate, you're gonna be toothless. It's also great because it's a TV season premiere. So they can watch the TV season premiere together while also having a slumber party. And speaking of the slumber party, I feel like we're going to be very busy today. So I might just hire a service for this one. We'll be hiring a gardener. Where is it? Gardener. Yeah, one time gardening service. And stop. You guys are late now. You guys are late. Go. Lily, go. And who allowed you to be so gorgeous? Meanwhile, she's not even ready just yet. And Leilani, why are you kissing people? 
Too young for kissing, definitely. And Lily's PA class gets to run laps, lots of them to build their stamina and lung capacity. This is what you need, really. And she is mostly through the first lap when she notices a gap underneath the bleachers, just the right size for a little rest. Would coach notice if she sat out a few laps? I feel like if she she would do this, the coach would understand because they know about her condition. And also, she's not really the best when it comes to physical activities or when it comes to socialization. I've noticed, so I feel like she's gonna hide out. Lily glances over her shoulder and slides quickly under the bleachers, wedging her body into a nice shady spot and she watches for Kenny, the kid ahead of her. Many restful minutes later, Lily shimmies out, finishing her last lap with a groan. Best be ever. She got away with it. Oh my gosh. And over here, they're just talking like, did you know your daughter tried to kiss someone in school? <laughs> and they're gonna they're having like a laugh about it but um we haven't really eaten yet so maybe we can just eat first and we'll just start with the preparations later and this actually was just from last night sorry we haven't had the time to prepare we got so busy because there was a storm the animals and so uh how should we do this the kids room are kind of small so we may have to do this downstairs instead how many friends does she have again how many friends are she inviting? And I thought, why not make this outdoors? That's just so much more fun. And we already have the tree house. They can sleep in there. I mean, some can sleep in there. We have tents. And frankly, this is much more... And frankly, this is less stressful because I don't have to keep on moving stuff in here. Hey, Lily, you're gonna invite over a boy for your slumber party? Also, Leilani, they both want to invite him. Okay, fine, children. Hey Leilani, there's a spelling bee in school tomorrow. Do you want to participate? High achieving students participants receive a performance boost and a nominal cash prize. Okay, um, yeah, have a dean or older choose to plan a social event on a phone. Okay, so she cannot do one on her own. Choose slumber party and plan this event, then attend the slumber party. Okay. Oh yeah, it says teen or older. All right, we're gonna have mom do it. Silver rewards include an adorable sleeping bag for toddlers and gold rewards include one for everyone else. Hmm. Okay, gather your pals together to stay up late, tell stories, and eat snacks. Don't fall asleep first or you may get ranked. Now, I want to use the slumber, uh, the sleeping bags thing because apparently you can pillow fight on it. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, so you got to be the host, I feel like. Oh, the two of you would have to be the host. And then for the guest, I don't know if this is right. They had one more friend, but I don't see her. Wait, hey, Drew is a teen now. That sucks. But yeah, we have five children today and we are going to do it at the Berry residence. I would not know what to do if it would rain. Well, it is raining, actually. Oh, let me just cheat that one. We need to tell three stories from a sleeping bag and yeah. Oh wait, I got a present but I think it's dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? I think she's gonna say that present was for you. Be grateful, okay? But let's tell a story. Let's tell about a fairy tale to our friends. To Lily, Alfonso, Lucia, and Cooper. And kids, we got you a s'mores dip by the way that... I will just have to put in here. Now she's telling a story about a scary mother plant. She's so social, I love it. Even though her tooth hurts from another loose tooth. And the last one would have to be an adventure about a deep sea monster with them too. Wait, you can ask guests to set up their own sleeping bags. How come I did not know that? Oh no, not the chicken dying during this one, this lumber party. Please don't be sad, Leilani. Don't, don't do it. They're having so much fun over here and someone's already asleep. Like Lily. <laughs> I want her to break out of her shell so bad, but like I feel like she's comfortable like this. Your dad that you don't know is your dad is here. He is really just keeping an eye out for them because, again, they are sleeping outside. What are we playing? Symbols? Okay. I don't see it though. And I feel like I really have to ask them to set up their sleeping bags because I don't think they're going to be sleeping on ours. 
and we just dance to music and now we need to tell stories and a sleeping bag okay so there we go <laughs> that's theirs let me just pull that apart and we can pillow fight let's pillow fight with lucia and she's watching him thinking oh my god he is so lame <laughs> this actually looks so fun <laughs> But well, maybe we should change now into our pajamas, right? It's already late. Yeah, maybe that was my mistake. <laughs> so cute. Um, what? Yeah, I feel like we need to get some sleep. <laughs> All right, time for bed. I don't know where you guys will be sleeping. There's so much beds in here. I don't doubt that there are other beds in other parts of the house, especially upstairs. I haven't checked it. Okay, good. And you too. Hello. Hmm. I don't know what they were talking about, but it sounded serious. But let's get rid of this, really. <laughs> so finally, the children are all asleep. And I like to think that they had fun, even if it was so chaotic. Even if I did not know what I was doing half the time. But yeah, I think they had fun with the slumber party. It's also our first. There might be even more in the future because I feel like she... Because I feel like Leilani would really like that. And now... Yeah, they're just... Um, they're probably gonna turn this off. You know, just to be safe. And we're gonna ask him, like, does he want to stay the night? We have extra... Sleeping bags. He can use it if he needs to. And I think he would love that. Are you serious? No, too soon, too soon. No, I said no. Girl, what was that? What did she do? I was searching for an interaction. But oh my god, just tell him goodnight. That's it. Like, just goodnight. What is wrong with my sims being so flirty? And what is wrong with my child over there crying? Hungry. Oh, of course. So he's sleeping on the sleeping bag in our living room. I think she definitely noticed and then she's gonna ask, huh, why? Isn't he just mom's friend? And slumber party completed. We just reached charisma level three and Malaya is a legendary host and her party was a capital A awesome. Gold level rewards include simoleons and a new sleeping bag. This item can be found in the household inventory and is also available for purchase in build mode. It's a gold one. Wait, no just a froggy one i don't know if i really need this and not again ay 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 and everyone it is time to wake up wake up now wakey wakey wake up right <laughs> and you guys you can't go just yet because she's cooking breakfast hey i promise we can just go to school later together and Alonso's probably gonna ask like, hey, why is your dad sleeping in the living room? Then they're both gonna answer, uh, that's not our dad. We don't have a dad. <laughs> She's listening over there. And children, did you do your homework? I think you did not. You think I wouldn't know, right? So yeah, just do your homework because this might take a while. And kids, it's beans and toast. <laughs> oh, hey, you're awake. And you guys better hurry up because it's only, we only have 10 minutes until the start of your class until you have to go to school <laughs> they're so loud okay but why does this look so domestic mm, this is the life we could have gotten if only you weren't so bad at your feelings and good luck with your spelling bee thing by the way it's so quiet now it's just them i feel like we're gonna have to tell the kids that he is indeed your father she already knows that it won't be easy but they just deserve to know the truth it's a truth that has been years long overdue and on another note guys i'm also still raising funds for my father's eye surgery and you can check out my coffee the link for it is on the description below if you'd like to help so thanks once again and i will see you guys again soon bye bye